Hey everybody, Rusty here, and today I'm going to show you how to build the RM airfoil that we've been discussing and working on on RC groups. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make it about three inches by about three inches here, and take this. We'll put out a wing here, really quick, just a sample of an airfoil section and scale. This is going to be a small zero taper wing. I'm just going to demonstrate the technique on. Let's knock this out. Let's flip this over with a little scrap piece of foam here. I'm going to take that. Take, oops, put that one a little wobbly. Like that one. Got us there. And now we have two layers here of an airfoil that we're going to make. Just peel these here. Like this. Let's take a rip a little on that corner. Let's take this side out here. Let's peel this. Let's peel that. Okay, just wind, let's get rid of these just down below so they don't really blow away. And get these two pieces here. Just use an Elmer spray glue. Let's stick these together. Melts the foam a little bit, but just enough to make it adhere really well. Just give it a dusting like that. And give it a few seconds to just attack a little bit. And we'll stick these together. And create the wing and there it is right there there's the wing now first thing I'm going to do with this wing I'm going to cut my leading edge into a bevel like this a dull blade just, uh, just for the starting bevel on there, like that. Put it on the edge, like this. Start sanding it, like this, into a round curve with a, not a sanding block. I like to use my hand on a piece of paper. I get a better feel for it. I can wrap it around the curve. And then just do it by, do it by eye, take your time. Sand it down like this. So you, Round the edge right down to the to the hard edge that you're on. Like that. You can see the line starting to form in between the two sections. Hopefully you can see this. You can see there's a line starting to form, and you can concentrate your sanding on the lowest spots of the line, or the spots of the line forward, most forward towards the leading edge get it straight all right and there we go there's the leading edge it's all I really do now I'm going to take the trailing edge here and I'm going to put a let's try to do this with this dull blade but I'm going to put a shallow taper on it like this almost the thickness of foam like this a shallow bevel on it taper it out but yay much get some meat off of there to start with yourself a surface to start sanding on. I'm just going to take this and sand this down like this. Just like this. Down to one thickness the foam and then out here. Up the wing. This oops, a little too aggressive with this little piece here. Right, let's pull that back in there like that. Get rid of the burrs. Don't mess it up too much more. And we're gonna snap the most of it anyways. But do that. 
And right there you can see that's the airfoil shape right there. Leading edge is sharp, flat in the bottom. Bevel here, rounded bevel, straight all the way back to the trailing edge. Trailing edge, about oh, 25% back, maybe 20% back, but the same amount back as a CG would be. You want to have the most of your most of your reflex taper here, and this little spot that we just sanded in the bottom, beveling that in about, no, oh, on this one it's just about three quarters of an inch maybe, really, the bevel is. I maybe went an inch with the marks, but yeah, the bevel is effectively about three quarters of an inch, you can see it there. And that's the reflex you want, this is the shape of the wing you want. Your control surface next, you're going to put a control surface on, I'll just cut a little piece off of here, and show you how it's going to line up. What you're going to do, is you're going to tape weave a hinge, let me de-paper this, make it clean, let's see what we're doing. Now you're going to uh, tape weave a hinge on just like this, it's upside down and backwards this way we're working on, like this. And right there, pretty much flat with the top, should be your neutral. The reflex is built in right here. That creates a little low pressure pocket here, just enough to keep the nose up, just enough to counter the pitching moment of this bevel here, which is trying to pitch the wing down. So you need a little bit of reflex, something to counter this. And this is, there's, right here, it's trying to push the wing down this way. This pulling on the wing here and trying to create a little bit of upward force, just enough to balance it up. Now, with, this, with, a, with CG, if you're flying in heavy wind, you might want a little bit of reflex. It should possibly be like a millimeter of reflex, like that. And for light wind, you want no ref I mean, you want no trail uh, surface reflex, no uh, reflex on the surface. But that's what the wing should look like, exactly like this, what I'm holding up here, if you can see that. That's what you want to do. This is how you build an RM airfoil. Real simple. If you have any questions, just uh, post on RC Groups, and uh, I'll get back to you. Message me on RC Groups, and I'll help you with it. All right? There it is.